In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over views, or templating is what I like to refer to it. Um, we're going to look at, um, we're gonna, well, there's different templating engines out there, and I've only really messed with um, EJS, but I guess Jade's a really popular one, but I really like EJS because it's similar to PHP. I just like it. So we're going to go over, um, I'm going to go over um, EJS files, okay? So um, I guess I'll start by making me a, a few EJS files real quick. Which are basically just HTML files, really. So, what did I do? Oh, I accidentally closed them all. Ah, my computer's lagging a little. Okay, here we go. New file. And basically, this is just an HTML file, really. So, let me see, what is it? Doc. Type. Hmm, my phone's making a noise. I don't know why, but we're going to a doc type. You know, regular standard HTML, boring doc types. I guess we're gonna indent. If we want our HTML to look good, I'm being a little picky, like I am with a lot of things. Um, yeah, I'm kind of sleepy. It's late at night here, but that's the only really time that I can record when it's really quiet. You know, without the TVs and stuff blasting, so I can do these really good. I mean, I'm trying, you know, trying to make them seem really high quality. So that's why I'm up a little late doing it. So yeah, sorry if that's kind of a little annoying that I feel a little tired, but whatever. Ah, uh, you guys are probably learning, but we're gonna create our head tag. Yeah, we're gonna go do a title, and I'll show you how to change the. Why am I wanting to do devs? But I'll show you how to set your own custom title later. For now, I'll just do um, hello, and then I'll create a body. Crap. Ugh. Here we go. Body. And I'll just do hey, just like we did with the um, other one, which is closed. Okay. So this is going to be called. What I normally do to or I I'm gonna I try to keep my application organized. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it views. This is where I'm gonna put all my HTML files in, basically. And they're not called HTML files. Well I guess you could technically set them as any extension. I was reading about that. I haven't tried that, but I normally name them dot EJS. Maybe I'll go over that. I don't know. I'll, I, might, I might play with them on that and I'll show you later. I can figure out how to overwrite it, but we're going to do layout dot EJS. Ah, crap. Okay. And then yeah, I'm using the I'm using this. It's free, but they bug you till you buy it. But I might buy it when I get the money. Well, probably. <sighs> you know. Okay, so that's. Pretty much an EJS file, but actually, um, where I said hey, we're, this is this a main EJS file. This is where I'd put my CSS in too. I don't know CSS off the top of my head. Let me think. Yeah, let me see. Okay, let me do this. Meta. Oh no, link. Oh, sorry, I'm distracted looking at my other computer Twitter's on it <laughs> assets no, I'm thinking I'm thinking of my other app yeah yeah I wrote some notes on this too so I'm looking at those too here we go we're just gonna do main.css we shouldn't have to put a slash well we should I mean that is kind of convention so I'll just do that just in case so we're just gonna call it main.css and we're gonna do ref equals style sheet type equals text 
dash CSS. Okay. And that's just gonna, that looks good. That's just gonna load in the style sheet. So once we do get the server working, when we do get this loading up with the through EGS, instead of loading up with, um, instead of just loading it, instead of, you know, when we actually load it with HTML, it will. Because that other one with the res.send and the app.js right now currently just sends plain text, basically. But here we go. We're gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and do a body. Yeah, and EJS um, variables, um, it sends the, yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and set the app to have PHP styled um, p blocks, but basically, this will, basically this, and then we're going to have to, this is like PHP where you echo. But we're gonna have to do a dash. So dash body like that, I guess. Let me think. No, put a space. There we go. So you do dash, you open up, and then you do a dash to echo. I mean, like that's like a print, but that'll print it unescaped. So that that normally is HTML and stuff, so you don't want it to be escaped. But if you change it to an equal sign, it can it will be escaped. So like. Well, you should do sanity checking when people submit your data, but like where you're displaying somebody's name, I mean, it's always safer, you know, like just to make sure it's escaped so you can use an equal. So your your app will probably use a mix of both equals and um, dashes. I mostly use dashes, but if you really want, you but you really should use a mix of equal and dashes. Dash is an escaped. So like if you want to put raw HTML out and equal is escaped. So that's basically our layout. And we're going to go ahead and create another file. I'm just going to call it index.ejs. And I'll just say, I'll just say, hey. Where I was going to say that in the original file, I was going to say, hey. And we're just going to save that as index.ejs. And that's, uh, we basically just created our layout files. Now, we have to have our app know about these because our app has to know about our layout files else you know it can't really do anything with it so first thing we're going to do is at the top of the script where we do these static where we create our static file store we're going to go ahead and um need to go ahead and set up our um ejs engine so first thing we're going to do before we start writing code actually we get to close the, we're gonna shut down the server. And I'm gonna go ahead and do npm install EJS. This stands for embedded JavaScript, so you're gonna go ahead and install that. Okay, that's installed, sweet. If I ls, yeah, well, dir, I'm not in the right directory. I got a major headache too right now. Okay, we're gonna do app.set views. And let's copy that so I don't have to write that. Just save a little bit of time. So we're going to do views. And we're going to store the views in slash views. So that's the directory where the view files are in. This basically sets like variables, basically, that EJS uses. So it knows that it knows where they're at. Next, we're gonna have to tell it the engine that we're using. So we're gonna do app dot set view view engine. We're gonna set them as EJS. Okay, cool. Now we have to do app dot set view options Did I spell that right o p t i o n yep yeah you have to obviously spell this stuff right i'm a horrible speller but yeah i'll go ahead and do this on a new line because that's what i normally do so it looks a little cleaner 
And then um, EJS, we get to set open and close tags. So that's oh, the open tag. But I know some people, I don't know what they do. Yeah, they do percent instead of the PHP symbol. They'll, they'll open it like that, actually. But I'll, I'm just using, I'll just like it like that, like PHP is. I'm used to that, and um, you know, I don't like changing. I mean, I do like changing, but I don't know. I like PHP. I mean, I like PHP, but I like Node.js also, so I kind of like a little bit of both. You know? Yeah. Okay, so that should work. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's pretty much the basic way of setting up a template, but basically setting the system up to be able to use the template. But now if we want to actually start using the template, we're going to have to um, edit our res.send file. Yeah, and when I get into routes, I'm going to go into more about how to... Um, keep your routes separate from your app because after a while this will just start getting I guess this will just start getting um messier and you know you'll get a big file that is just big and you know you don't really want to get a file that that's really big so you know you know you want to have organization and we'll go over that too Actually, I think I'll go over that in the next tutorial before I even get into routes because that can be on its own. So we're going to do res.render, and I called the file index. And then that's pretty much all we have to do. Well, to start. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the server. Well, it's already started. Stopped. Blah. I'm going to go ahead and sudo this up. Cross my fingers that this is going to work. <gasps> yes, we got a purple background that says hey. And another thing is um, in you edit, when you edit the view files, hey, random person. When you edit the view files, you don't have to restart the server. That's normally, that you pretty much only have to do that when you edit the um, server side .js files. If I want to, into my recents. Mm. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll just do this. Uh, that's text is hard to read. I can do color. White. If I can spell today. Font. Plus, I'm a little nervous doing this. Zoom in YouTube. I get like that actually. I don't know why. Ugh, I don't know how much. Should I get autocomplete? Shouldn't it recommend like font weight? Yeah, I guess it didn't. Whatever. But yeah. Here, now if I refresh. And also, you don't have to. Yeah, so the CSS file is. You don't have to edit that. So that's good. But you're wondering, what about the titled? Titled. Titled. I cannot spell today. Titled. Um, we can actually send variables to our um, EJS file, our index, I mean our layout. So in our app.js, um, we're going to be able to send a variable to the app. So I'm just going to call it title, welcome. I want to. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and restarted the server. So now all we have to do is edit the um, EJS file. <clears throat> and we can edit the EJS file without restarting the server. So, see, if I want to, I could just add hello, three, four exclamations, and I could go ahead and save that. See, the title has four now. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna. Now in the in the last part I did, I went ahead and added a um. I undid it accidentally. I was messing with something. I added a welcome variable. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the server again. 
So I, I, I undid it. What did I do? Crap. Yeah, I actually ran into a code issue. I had to fix myself. So that's why I, I had to, I went back and cut it. So yeah. So I got, I was, I figured it out though. It was actually a misspelling. I misspelled undefined accidentally, but I figured I could, instead of me figuring it out, I could just, you know, redo it a little better. Anyways. Okay, here we go. So now the value welcome is going to be sent to the EJS as the variable title. So what I want to do, um, EJS is just really JavaScript, kind of. I mean, yeah, it is pretty much JavaScript. What I'm going to do, well, the title should be escaped, really, because somebody could put code in there that you wouldn't want. Well, I mean, it's just general security. I mean, you know, an extra step to make the system a little more secure, like from cross-site scripting attacks. So now if I refresh, that should say welcome. Okay, cool. But let's go in here. And I'm going to get rid of the title. Here, I'll save that. Actually, actually, I'm going to undo that instead of saving that. Here, go ahead and... See, I'll comment that out. So I can easily switch back and forth which one I need when I'm testing this. So I'll go ahead and remove I'll go ahead and restart the server. Now obviously it'll crash because it's trying to use something that's not I mean the script's still running, it's just the EJS template will not run. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna go inside of the um, EJS file. We're gonna go ahead and um write a um, block, like a PHP block. Well, it's not PHP, but it's Node.js. So we'll write an EJS block. I guess I'll refer, them, refer to them as EJS blocks. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do if type of title equals equals un death Find. Yeah, I'm a horrible speller. I don't really use shortcuts for this. Okay, here we go. So if title equals undefined, um, this is I'm just this project is called Node Toot. I guess I'm just gonna call it Node Node Toot. It's short for tutorial. So let's refresh. <gasps> Node Toot. Node Toot. Sweet. But what happens if I sent that variable though? What is it gonna do? Is it just gonna supply node to it all the time? Well, it's, well, no, it won't. Well, I'll, I mean, we'll fix it. I mean, it will right now in this current state, but let's go ahead and restart the server. See, it'll still say node, no, no, it doesn't. Cause that only runs on undefined. Okay. So node to it will only run on undefined. So now we're gonna do an else statement cause it's, cause you know, it's obviously defined and you could write a little bit better checking code, I assume. Okay, and now we're going to do node toot. Or no, let's put the title first of the page. That's what I'll do. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and do um, equal. There we go. Ah, I, 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 this Apple keyboard's kind of small, but I keep hitting the Alt key instead of the um. I do that sometimes actually. I'm getting used to the Apple keyboard lately. I'm using my Mac more. And we're just gonna do no to it. If you want to, you could actually create a global variable to and reference that if you really wanted to. That's what I did with one of my apps. But now, if we refresh the page, welcome no to it. Sweet. So we have titles working. So yeah, you can send local variables to your um, node.js file. And you know you could write JavaScript that gets the date, the current date, if you wanted to. If you wanted to like have a really nice footer, it's very similar to what you do do with um, PHP. Very similar to that. Okay. So that's basically how the um, template engine works. It's pretty simple, actually.